please welcome to the stage Mayor Jackie Biskupski. is here tonight. I just want to say thank you for your support. You've been awesome. <clears throat> this is a fun weekend, but for me, when we raised the rainbow flag today with staff people who were setting up this event today and some of my own helpers in my office who work with me day in and day out to affect change, it was so different. And that flag went up and everybody was so excited to be a part of raising it. And that says something to me. That says, this is our city. And this is our building. And we are running this city. Thank you to everyone at the Utah Pride Center for putting this incredible weekend together. I have looked out my window for two days and watched the volunteers make this happen. And it is not easy work, and it is day in and day out. And my own team said, Mayor, I'm shutting off the street. There's too many volunteers walking across it, and I don't care what time the department said to shut it off. It's time. And I said, you shut that street off. <laughs> This year's theme is we are pride and we are all of us. We have so much to celebrate this year. We have full marriage equality. We have Harvey Milk Boulevard. I am proud to say as mayor for the first time gender reassignment surgery will be covered for my employees. And this year has been very special, and it has been. I can't tell you how much I love my job. Oh my God, to all those people out there who, who helped me get here, thank you. I love my job. My family is growing, and I'm so grateful for that. I'll be getting legally married this summer, and I can't wait. In Salt Lake City, we work every day to build a city for everyone. You are welcome here, not only for pride, but every day. You need something, my office is right there, and I promise you, our door is open. I will tell you a quick story because it touched me deeply. <clears throat> I had a young person come into my office not too long ago who attends high school in Salt Lake City. And that person's teacher outed that person in classroom as being transgender. And that small, young individual came into my office with the parents and said, what do I do? I need your help, I need your advice. What do I do? And I said, well, you can do a couple things. But then I leaned in and I said, you can switch schools or you can take this person on. And you can go back to school, and you could say to the principal, I deserve better than this, and you need to help me. And you also need to tell this teacher that it is not that person's prerogative to define who I am in this classroom. And that person is standing up tall and proud, and then took another step and said, when people are graduating this year, they get to wear whatever gown they want. It, don't you tell them they have to wear the boy uniform. Don't you, you tell them they have to wear the girl uniform. That stuff is over. And that is exactly what is happening. That's the difference it makes. 
When people like myself keep standing up and saying, I will lead, I will affect change, and that's the difference it makes when people like you say, I will help you, and I will get behind you, and I will say no to the bullshit, right? So keep going and keep helping me. I want to be here for eight years. And we have a lot of work to do to make sure in those eight years, everybody is welcome, no matter who you are. We want to lay that foundation. We want to make sure we're successful and I need your help. So please come help me. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Love you dearly. And again, if you are struggling, come see me. My door will always be open. Yeah.